Wow, this temple is so beautiful. <laughs> and check out the view I have up here. Like, I have a perfect view of the whole city. Welcome back to my channel, Escaping Comfort Zone. So today, I'm coming at you from Kuala Lumpur. Oh, all right, so it has been a pretty hectic past two weeks. I actually haven't been filming many videos because I have been taking a holiday from my holiday these past two weeks. But I'll keep you up to date and tell you what's been happening. So after my sister left in Bali, um, I met up with my travel mates that I met in Java and then we all rented a awesome villa in Bali for three nights and we pretty much just drank, swam, chilled the whole three nights. It was absolutely amazing. But it was such a sad moment when I had to say goodbye because that was one of my best moments through this year, I reckon. And then after that, I went to Gilly Islands, um, chilled around Gilly Islands for a few days as well. And the beaches there are absolutely stunning. Like, I reckon the beaches there are way better than Bali. And one, oh, a cool hostel I stayed at at Gilly Islands though, it had a ball pit in the dorm room. Such an awesome hostel. <laughs> and then after that, I arrived to Kuala Lumpur, but I've actually been here for like the past four days just catching up on videos and photos. But now is the day I get to finally explore this beautiful city and see what it has to offer. So let's go. So there's a huge bird park in this botanical gardens area but it's 63 ringgit for entrance and I'm not that big of a bird fan so I didn't bother going in but that is the currency here in Malaysia is ringgit so I think one Australian dollar is almost three ringgit and one US dollar is like four ringgit and if you want to as well they have a butterfly park here too. Alright so I seem to have got myself a bit lost around here. I need, there's so many highways in Malaysia. Ah, I need to get over there. But like all these are just highways. <laughs> there's, there's no walking paths. Well, this is a walking path right here, but I think I'm just gonna have to run across and walk on the side of the highway. All right, I found my way back on a pedestrian path. It was just so hard to figure out how to get around here. All the highways just cross over the highways and then it's like, just all spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so confusing. I don't know where to go. Oh, come on. I can't get a break around here. Now I've got to cross two highways to get to the other side where I want to go. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah, oh, no. Shit. It's just too many cars. What do I do? Five minutes later. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going to commit. <laughs> ah. Alright, first one crossed, now yeah, the next one. Ready, get ready, and go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh thank god. Alright, now I'm on the right path, no more highways. Oh my god, there better be something amazing up this place because it is just taking me nowhere. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a palace at the moment. Um, what is it called again? What is it called, Google Translate? Palace of Negri Sembalan. Yeah, I'm trying to go there. <laughs> um, and it seems like it's taken me nowhere but while i got you here i'll give you another tip along the way 
So yesterday I organised my Malaysian SIM card and if you're looking to get a Malaysian SIM card the best two ones are Maxis and Cellcom. I tried Maxis first because apparently they're like a really good service but they were charging me 50, uh, 50 ringgits for a month for 10 gigabyte but they add on like another 160 ringgit just for foreigners so I was like no that's not worth it but Cellcom they offer 10 ring it. Oh, they offer 10 gigabyte for 50 ring it for a month and so much more. And I think Cellcom is actually the best service provider as well. So, tip. There you go. When you get to Malaysia, if you need a SIM card, get Cellcom. Huh. Bugger. That sucks. Turns out oh, I cannot go in there. That's it there. But gates are closed. I can't go in there. I've walked all this way. For nothing. I uh, probably should have done a little bit of studying up just to see what this place is like, but okay. So, tip, don't come to this place because it'll be closed and it's a bloody long walk. Score, look what we got here. So this is a star fruit tree. That's what all these things on the ground are. I don't know if you've ever seen these fruit, but I love these. And it's seeming though I've got such a long walk back and I'm absolutely starving, I'm gonna get some star fruit. <laughs> I hope these are good. Oh, 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 there it goes. All right, there really wasn't that many good star fruit on the tree, but I found one good one and I found another good little one. So, so if it's good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't know. It's juicy. That's not bad. I reckon I can eat it. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Backpacker tip. If you want free food, let's find a fruit tree. Whoop. And pick off the fruit. Hmm, it's nice. Alright, there's gonna be nothing exciting happening now. <laughs> I'm just walking back on this long, boring road. So I'll just see you at my next destination. And for my next destination, little India. Where I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> little India is that way. Um, I actually have been here once. I just come here for a night out uh, for some dinner and it's an awesome little India town. It's better than the one they have in Singapore, but they got some amazing food. So it is lunchtime and I'm going to have some lunch here. Oh my god, I absolutely love the food in Malaysia. Even though it was Indian food, the Malaysian food is actually very similar. Um, but it, the proportions of it is just so big. And I always go vegetarian too because it's just got so much flavour, it doesn't even need meat. Like the rice is always mounted upon and it is just super cheap. So I paid 650 ringgit for my meal and then another 4 ringgit for my coconut. So all up it was like just under four dollars Australian which is so cheap and I just got something else I wanted to share with you guys I've had one before but I really wanted to try this other thing so over here we have mango steam so I've tried this a couple days ago this is delicious and this here is called rumble tan so it looks really weird it's like a furry fruit um, I heard it kind of tastes a bit like a lychee so I'm gonna try these now all right so if you're ever in Asia be sure to try both these fruit out because I'm pretty sure you get these in the majority of the countries throughout Asia. So the first one, mango steen, as I said, I've already tried it, but you just gotta like squeeze it to crack open. It's got a really soft outer shell and then it kind of just breaks off like cloves, like that. And then you just eat the thing, eat the whole thing. But there is seeds in the middle of some of them, so be careful about that. But it is a super, super sweet taste. I absolutely love these. Um, they're so delicious when I first tried it. And then this one, 
the rum bultan. So this is the one I haven't tried. You just got to squeeze a bit harder to open these. As I said, it's kind of like a lychee, I think. It looks like a lychee on the inside, but what does it taste like? Yeah, kind of tastes like a lychee, just a bit crunchier. It's like a lychee slash pear. Yeah, it more tastes like a pear, actually. That's good. I think I way overdid it though, because I got a whole kilogram of mango steam and a kilogram of rumble tum. But either way, it was cheap. It was like 10 ring it all up. Mm, delicious. Oh, see this? This is just complete sweat. This is how hot it is in Malaysia right now. And I've got sweat in my eyes. Ah, it stinks. It is so warm here. It's not as hot as Singapore though, but it's still freaking warm. And I'm dying after <laughs> eating that food. Um, I'm <laughs> currently walking to another temple. It's called, oh, I forgot what it's called. I just put the name here. <laughs> but there it is, it's right there, it's behind me. Looks pretty cool. It's big. At least there's a temple here and I can get into it. <laughs> Wow, this temple is so beautiful. And check out the view I have up here. Like, I have a perfect view of the whole city. And to top it off, it was even free to get into this temple. I don't know how, but it was free. <laughs> Maybe things in Malaysia, a lot more things in Malaysia are free compared to Indonesia. <laughs> Okay, so I come across this and I cannot resist to buy it. So this is called a tea egg. And apparently it's just a normal boiled egg. Then they crack it slightly and stew it with like tea, spices and herbs for up to three hours. But dead set, it smells exactly like a cinnamon donut for some reason. It's, it smells sweet. It smells really good. Ow. It's a brown egg. Just, this is the egg here. Whoa. Shell come off easy. So, it's a really weird looking marble brown egg. I wonder what it's like. <laughs> oh wow. It's um, it kind of has like the texture of jelly. It's got a sweet taste. Yeah, it's got a lot of flavour to it. I absolutely love boiled eggs. So this is why I bought this. <laughs> mm, that's good. I've had a lot of interesting food today, haven't I? I like it. Mm. I've just been snacking on the rest of my leftover fruit that I have. I've got to say, these mango steens, it's probably, I think it's up there for one of the best fruits I've ever had. I can't believe I've only just been introduced to these. These are so amazing. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have to call it a day there, guys, because I'm getting quite exhausted. I've ran out of water. I'm just sweating buckets all day. <laughs> and... This is pretty much what I wanted to do today. I just wanted a chill day, sort of um, get out of the city a bit. But tomorrow, I'm going to be exploring the city, going to the Twin Towers and going to all the um, areas around the city there. So be sure to watch that video next. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel.
eat these things because these are delicious and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Follow your dreams. Escape Captain Zone. Bye. Mm.